So what I want to do next is just raise one little flag, which at this level, you're not going to have to worry about. It's not going to come up, but it's something you should be aware of, and it will definitely come up um, as you start looking at uh, your, your, full, your full diploma. So this is the, the calculation we just did, the calculation at the moment. Now I said it was just force times distance, but <coughs> what happens if we do this? Going back to what we had before. So you told me I had to apply a 10 Newton force at half a metre away, so we're going to do this. And we got some beautiful turn. What happens if you told me exactly the same thing? Apply a 10 Newton force at half a metre. So I'm going to apply my force here, 10 Newtons. Here we go. Crap, it's not moving. Yeah, it's my same, exactly my same force. It's not getting any motion. I'm pushing at the point you told me to push. And I'm pushing with 10 Newtons. It's not turning. Yeah, and if I push at a bit of an angle, it'll turn a bit, but nowhere near as much as if I push there. So not just the size of the force and the point of application, there's something else going on as well. The angle of push. So we'd assume that I was going to push at right angles to the motion rather than at some weird angle. Okay? So when we do, when we use this formula here, technically... The force, what we mean by force is we mean the component of the force that's at right angles to the direction. So let me write that up and then I'll demonstrate. So we mean the component of the force at right angles to the motion. So, like I said, at this stage, you're not going to have to worry about that too much, but it's definitely something you, you should be aware of in the, uh, in the future. So, if we had a force that was being applied, so instead of pushing 200 newtons straight down, I'm now pushing 200 newtons, and this is 60 degrees. Is that going to produce the same turn as the 200 newtons straight down? Clearly not, is it? Because we've exactly what I just did on the on the board. So even though they're both 200 newtons and they're both pushing at the same point, they're going to produce different amounts. And the question is, how much will the, the funny one produce? So to work it out, you've got to do a bit of the old components. Okay, so you want, then the bit you're interested in is this piece here. So we need to know how long that is to be able to work out what's going on. Okay. So we need a little bit of trigonometry. If that's 60, this one must be 30. 200 is the hypotenuse. We're trying to find the adjacent. So it's going to be the cosine. So 200 cosine 30. Which someone's going to work out for me. 173.2 is that right? Is that right? 173.2? Yep. So if you're pushing at 60 degrees, you get 173 newtons effective turning rather than the full 200 newtons. So by not pushing at the at right angles, you, you lose some of the effect of the force. Okay. So just be aware when you see this formula, force technically means that component of the force that's doing the work, not the bit of the force that's wasted. This bit of force going across here, is not contributing anything to the turn. It's not going to make it turn at all. It's, it's going the wrong way. Okay, so that's just a little note to put in there. It just says watch out if you have forces that aren't at right angles to where the thing's trying to move. 